telling time. Tick. When people talk about telling time, they don't mean, hey, time, I've got something to tell you. No. Telling time just means saying what time it is. And by the end of this book, you'll know how to tell what time it is. But to learn how to tell time, shouldn't you know what time is? Here's what time is. Time is when things happen. And time is how long things take. When things happen. I get up at 7.30 in the morning. I start to eat lunch at 12. We're going to the movies at 1. I drive my race car at 9. How long things take. It takes two seconds to brush a baby's tooth. It takes two minutes to brush my teeth. It takes 10 minutes to brush my dog. A thousand minutes if I have a big dog and if I use a toothbrush. It takes two hours to clean my room. How many years would it take to clean up the world? So that's what time is. When things happen and how long things take. Okay, but why do we tell time? I'm so glad you asked. We tell time so we'll know when school starts. We tell time to know when our friends are coming over. And if we couldn't tell time, we'd never see the beginning of a movie. We tell time so we won't miss our favorite show. That's why we tell time. Okay, okay. But how do we tell time? We tell time in chunks, big chunks, big humongous chunks, and little chunks, incy itty bitty chunklets, shrimps. Let's start with the shrimps. There are three kinds of little chunks. The shortest little chunk is the second. Bet I can eat this whole chocolate bar in five seconds. The middle-sized little chunk is a minute. There are 60 seconds in every minute. Cool your jets, Mikey. I'll be down in a minute. The longest little chunk is an hour. There are 60 minutes in every hour. I had so much homework. It took me a whole hour to finish it. We tell the little chunks of time on clocks and watches. A watch is just a clock you wear on your wrist. We tell the big chunks of times on calendars. So what's a calendar? It's that pretty picture with the numbers below it that hangs on the wall and that stack of papers with numbers on them that sits on a desk. A calendar tells the days. Every day has a name of its own. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A calendar tells the months. Every month has a name of its own. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. A calendar tells the years 1492, 1860, 1900, 1950, 2001, 2,222, and a calendar tells the dates, Friday, October 1st, 1999, Saturday, January 1st, 2000, Monday, 
February 29, 2016. Do you know what's special about that date? What are the big chunks of time? Days, weeks, months, years, plus decades, centuries, and millennia. The shortest big chunk is a day. You know what a day is? Then comes a week. A week has seven days. Then comes a month. A month has about 30 days and about four weeks. Then comes a year. One year has 365 days. And it has almost exactly 52 weeks. And it has 12 months. Then comes a decade. A decade is 10 years. I'm a decade old. That's 10 years old. I'm less than one year old. Want to know how old I am? I'm a whole century old. The next biggest chunk is a century. A century lasts 100 years. The biggest chunk of time is a millennium. A millennium lasts a thousand years. Ten centuries. Okay, okay, okay. Calendars show the big chunks. The days and the months and all that. And clocks show the shrimps. Seconds and minutes and hours and all that. But how do clocks show the seconds and minutes and hours and all that? Two ways. Digital and analog. A digital clock has big numbers in the middle. Here's a digital clock. An analog clock has little numbers around the edge and hands that point to the numbers. Here's an analog clock. So, you want to learn how to tell time. Let's start with digital. Digital clocks have two sets of numbers. One set comes before the colons and the other comes after it. The first number tells the hours. Look at this clock. This number here tells you it's three o'clock. On this clock, it says six o'clock. On this clock, it says 10 o'clock. And on this, it says 12 o'clock. Most clocks only go up to 12 o'clock, though there are 24 hour clocks too. There's no such thing as 33 o'clock or 127 o'clock. The numbers after the colon mark the minutes. How many minutes are there in an hour? 60. 60 minutes in an hour. So 315 is 15 minutes past 3 o'clock. Some people call that 315. Some call it quarter past three. They both mean the same thing. This one is 21 minutes past six o'clock. This one is 44 minutes past 10 o'clock. You can call it 1044. They both mean the same thing. What does this clock say? Some people call that 1230. Some call it half past 12. They both mean the same thing. How about this one? That's 10 minutes after 1 o'clock. Or 1.10. They both mean the same thing. And this one. Some people call that 11.45. Some call it quarter of 12. All together now? They both mean the same thing. So now you've got your minutes and your hours. One more thing, a.m. and p.m. When you are doing something in the morning, like eating breakfast, that's a.m. But if it's afternoon, after 12 o'clock, like eating supper, 
That's p.m. So breakfast is at 6 a.m., but supper is at 6 p.m. Now let's look at analog clocks. The ones with hands. They're not really hands, not like people hands. They don't have fingers. They don't wear mittens. So why are they called hands? Because they point like hands, like this. Clocks have three kinds of hands, little hands, big hands, and second hands. Second hands tell the seconds. Big hands tell the minutes. Little hands tell the, the, want to guess? Little hands tell the hours. Big hands tell the minutes. Little hands tell the hours. Second hands tell the seconds. So, how do you tell time with hands? The second hand is easy. You can watch it move. Every time it passes a number, that's another five seconds. You held your breath for 53 seconds. You're turning blue. Every time it passes the 12, up at the top of the clock, that's a minute. 60 seconds make one minute. The big minute hand moves slower than the second hand. Every time it passes a number, that's another five minutes. Hurry up, the movie starts in five minutes. It takes 60 minutes to go all the way around. 60 minutes make an hour. The little hour hand is the slowest hand of all. It takes one hour to go between numbers. Mom, I'm starving. It's been one whole hour since breakfast. It takes 12 hours to go all the way around the clock. So that's how to tell how long things take on an analog clock. But how do you tell what time it is? Look and see where the hands are. When the little hand is on the three and the big hand is on the 12, it's three o'clock. How about when the little hand is on the four? Right, it's four o'clock. How about when the little hand is on the seven? Yes, it's seven o'clock. Here's a smiley face for you. Now let's move the big minute hand too. When the little hand is on the three and the big hand is on the one, it's five minutes past three o'clock, or you can call it 3.05. How about when the hour hand is halfway between seven and eight and the minute hand is on six? Yes, it's 7.30. You deserve another smiley face. Okay, here's a tough one. What time is it when the little hand is almost on the nine and the big hand is exactly on the nine. The correct answer is 15 minutes to nine, or 8.45, or quarter of nine. And here's one that's even tougher. The little hand is just past the nine, and the big hand is only one dot past the three. Here's a hint. Remember, there are five minutes between each number. So if the three is 15 minutes, one dot past the three is, yes, the time is 916. Here are some more analog clocks. See if you can tell the time. Here's how to remember how big each chunk of time is. 60 seconds make a minute. 60 minutes make an hour. 24 hours make a day. Seven days make a week. Four weeks or a little more than make a month. 12 months make a year. 10 years make a decade. 10 decades make a century. 
10 centuries make a millennium. Here's a little poem to help you remember how long things take. 60 seconds make a minute. That's a lot of seconds, isn't it? 60 minutes make an hour, long enough to take a shower. 24 hours in a day, just how long I want to play. Seven days make one whole week, 10,080 minutes, eek! A month is four weeks, sometimes more. I like to spend it at the shore. It takes 12 months to make a year. When New Year comes, we'll give a cheer. 10 whole years is a decade. I love to eat 10 decades cakes. A century takes a long, long time. One full year plus 99. A thousand years is one millennium. Write me a letter if you think of any word that rhymes with millennium. You now know how to tell time. So it's time to end this little rhyme. End this little book too. The end.